Hello and welcome back to our newest Wrath Virus Journey episode and today we are visiting Blackfish Graphics company here next to Nürburgring in Germany. So let's go inside. So guys, let's meet Michael and David from Blackfish Graphics who will introduce the company and tell us a bit more about this business, yeah? Yes, um, we started 17 years ago and uh, we started to uh, produce stickers and that's okay. where, we, where we started with, just small stickers for some uh, scooter and motor race teams. Mm -hmm. okay. And um, from one thing led to the other and after 17 years, we're still doing it. And you're in the business already 17 years. Yes. And as you know, you start, you, you're not from Germany. You started it in other country. Yes, yeah. we started it in Holland mm -hmm. and um, it's now six years ago. Yeah, six years ago, we decided to go to Germany. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, and all the time before we, we had our shop in Holland and um, yeah, it was something else, it was in the city, in the center of the city. Mm -hmm. Completely different environment as the Nürburgring, of course. And uh, but we always liked it uh, to go to here to the Nürburgring, and always been here. And uh, we had a couple of customers here, and mm -hmm. one thing led to the other. So we decided to come here to the Nürburgring. Yeah, which is always yeah. You mentioned about Nürburgring, and this was, as I understand, this was a reason to move company here because you have a lot of customers from Nürburgring, and you enjoy yeah. race race cars. Uh, yes, absolutely. Races. Yes. Yeah, okay. yeah. You are located, what, like five minutes from main track? Yes. Ten minutes? Yeah. Small drive through the mountains. <laughs> really <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, and um, David, how long you ago you joined the company? Oh, it's around one year already. Around one year. Okay. Yeah. And I understand David is in charge for organized jobs, doing PPF? And yes, yeah. So um, David is doing uh, reps and uh, PPF and uh, organizing the workshop mm -hmm. and um, yeah yeah we have a team of um, nine people now okay, nine people, and, yeah. Um, yeah so we have a media team which does videos and photography mm -hmm. uh, we have two designers um, we have uh, two girls on production for the stickers uh, in is doing the office and all the paperwork and mm -hmm. designing also um, yeah, so, and the funny thing is it's very international, very international because uh, uh, we actually don't have any German people working for us. Okay. It's, uh, <laughs> we are from New Zealand to India and oh. from Poland to Holland and from Belgium to France that's, that's cool. and Bulgaria. Yeah, yeah, it's very international. Of course, it was interesting when we arrived like yesterday and we're in Germany and all everyone talks English. It's like we still in Germany. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, because your team is international. Yeah, you need yes. one language to. Yeah, speak. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Please tell me who inspired you to start a business. Well, that's a difficult question. I think it's just uh, my background. I I studied art, mm -hmm. and um, I have a lot of artists uh, artists that I like and um, I, I'm my background is graffiti okay and uh, I started uh, graffiti when I was I think 11 12 and um, so I, I, I this inspiration for the designing the race cars and designs in general for cars I think it has a lot to do with the background of graffiti mm -hmm. um, yeah because you do actually it's a bit the same yeah the thing you do on a when you're spraying graffiti on the wall, um, legally you, you, or not legally? 
<laughs> Absolutely legal. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, I've never done something illegal. Um, but um, yeah, it's it's a bit the same. I feel sometimes I feel uh, that some of the projects we have is like a, for me like a graffiti. So uh, I got my inspiration from there. And um, as soon as we started making the first stickers and um, having ideas what to produce and what to sell as a, um, as, a as a sticker as a product. Um, yeah, there came a lot of ideas from uh, from the, the, the background with graffiti, yeah. And you have a very unique name. How you came up with this company name, Blackfish? That's a really good question. Uh, the problem <laughs> the problem is my, uh, my wife um, uh, started the business seven okay. years ago when I still had a steady job mm -hmm. and um, after a couple of years, after a couple of years, I stopped my uh, stopped my job and uh, joined uh, Inna with uh, with with Blackfish, and Inna came up with the name at that time, and um, it's really difficult to explain because there's no really particular uh, reason why it's called Blackfish. It's only that we like to be different than than all the all the others. We try to be different than all the others, and I think this whole um, and black sheep, black beard, is piracy, I, I don't know, it's some, if you combine it all and from one led to the other and then it's, it became blackfish. Okay, that's cool. So there's no, there's no particular yeah. um, reason why it's called blackfish. Who, who designed this space? Because it's very unique, you have some trees, some you know, green wall, it's, 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 you know, it's not plain uh, workshop. You. Someone designed it, yeah? Yeah, yeah. No, we did it. We I did it together with Inna, and um, because we had uh, like several workshops before, uh -huh. um, which was always rented, and um, we didn't want to invest a lot of uh, money and time. <coughs> sorry, into other into other other people's building, and this is the first building that we bought for it, for ourselves, and um, so we can do actually whatever we want. If I want to. If I want to do stuff in this building, I'm completely responsible for myself. The only one responsible is myself. And um, and we had these some of these ideas for years and years, but never managed because it was not the right time and not the right moment in the uh, in a rented building. So uh, now, since we have this building, we're going all out, and we always wanted trees and we always wanted like a clean and black. I mean, the whole building is uh, is black inside almost the whole building. And uh, yeah, we just like it like this. And uh, okay. I think it's also a bit again the the the, the background with the art, studied art, and, and and the graffiti that it's maybe something some bit different than other companies because we just like it. Yeah, this is why I would like to ask: What makes your business unique? Something you are proud of? Something I'm proud of. Yes, I'm proud of the fact that. Um, we managed to keep up with with all the stuff in the um, in the, the the in the period of time, and I I'm really proud of the fact that we do a lot of um, famous race teams, famous mm -hmm. cars. We do a lot for, for example, for official Jaguar, Land Rover, AMG. Um, yeah, and I'm really proud of I'm really proud of the fact that we do DTM teams. Um, here for on the Nurburgring, some some really famous teams and famous uh, brands that we um, we do all the wrapping for. Is this what we noticed yesterday? For but was yesterday was big race, like 140 cars there. Yes, and you wrapped almost like 50 of them. I'm like, can you imagine one company about 50 race cars <laughs> on one <laughs> in one race? In one yes, race. in one race. Well, no, 50, 50 is a bit lot, a bit, a bit, a bit much. But okay, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, to explain that the the VLN, which is called now NLS, they okay. changed name uh, last year. Uh, but most of the people know it as VLN. Mm -hmm. um, it's a long stackable car. Um, there are like in general, like say. 150 um, competitors in one race, so it's 150 cars in one race, and uh, a lot of local people mm -hmm. that are local here to the number ring that drive there, and um, of course then when you are here for so many years and uh, it's a small community, then it's easy to, to get of course a lot of cars in one race that you have repped. Yeah, so that's that's awesome. <laughs> that's, that's amazing. <laughs> Okay, then let us let me ask you, what is the most memorable project you have worked on? 
most memorable project. Yeah, most impressive. Yeah. yeah, it's your ball. It's a good question. I, we did we did so many so many cars. I, it's um, I love the the project that we did with Ring Garage. That's mm -hmm. a rental company here at the Nurburgring. Um, there are there are some customers who give us complete free hand. Um, but in this case, Ring Garage just uh, brought a car. They didn't want to know anything. They didn't want to see anything. <laughs> they just let us do it. And um, it turned out really cool. And it was something really Blackfish. And nice. um, yeah, I think I'm, I'm, that's one of the favorite projects. And of course, we did, the, uh, we did some um, uh, famous race cars for DTM, mm -hmm. which we... Uh, uh, which I also like, but I think the, the the whole ring garage project is one of the things we are most proud of or okay. most memorable. Yeah. Can you tell me worst project you ever had? Like you don't want to even product. talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, worst is a um, is maybe the wrong word, but uh, a couple of months ago we had a um, uh, American van um, from a customer uh, slash old neighbor from our old village where we live <laughs> um, so it's all good it's a lovely van and he has um, a powder coating uh, company mm -hmm. which is uh, I mean I love it all but he had the he has a um, uh, he's a fan of like American style mm -hmm. trucks and hot rods and uh, that sort of stuff and he has an old Dutch fan um, he wanted to, because he's also really into uh, old Harley Davidson's and stuff old choppers and uh, he wanted the uh, old school 70s striping on his uh, Dutch truck or van actually, um, which I really like. It's really a lovely, it's a lovely uh, van. And uh, but he brought the van and we did some old school stripings on it. And the paint of um, Dutch from the 70s is a bit weird. Um, the Americans did a bit of weird, um, uh, how to call it paint on it and uh, yeah it came off with uh, with paint and everything so uh, the striping and everything came off with paint together and there was only like the, the basically there was the, a striping there was a striping, striping. no striping. Paint. yes no. <laughs> yeah. like, that's, that's when you say though uh, paint came off sometimes it happened with old paint with bad paint but it came off like stripes yeah, yeah, came yeah, off. Yeah, like all parts came off yeah all yeah parts. i don't know if that's the worst project we had we had also like in the freezing cold in the midnight to to redo a race car uh, in the pit box with minus four um uh, on the ground on the floor wow. with sand and maybe that's more worse i don't know but yeah, yeah. something you don't want to do it again no no <laughs> no yeah, no no, okay. no. Thank you very much for your answers. Getting gloss black paper protection film, and we will install it on Porsche. We will install black paper protection film on this bonnet. The rest of the car will be wrapped by this gentleman.
So let's start our tour. David will show us around. Hello, welcome on Blackfish. So let's go to another room. Here is like a, a guest room, which just, you know, customer came. We just uh, say hello. There we have a, another room, like a hall. Oh, All of the planning boards, which is, you know, quite full. Yeah, and at the time. By the months, by the dates. Yes. What kind of jobs is coming? That's Here we have a media room. Media room? That yes. nice tree in the middle. Yes, That's exactly. Nice. So basically one photographer, one video guy is just sitting here doing his job, which I have no idea about, <laughs> you know, how it works. Yeah, here is my desk, you know, all of the orders need to be filled up, like, you know, every order checked. Here we have a plotting and printing room. It's our new stuff. This is where you do all. Kind yes. Of production, all print, all media. Exactly. Okay. We stick a bit to Roland. We are quite happy with them. Yeah, I see. I see a few Rolands here. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Um, is this UV printer or? Even no, printer? that's okay. the solvent printer. Okay. Solvent okay. printer. Yeah. Basically, there we just get a plotter for PPF and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we plot all of our stickers here. Mm -hmm. There we have a production room. Here on this side. That's the boss desk. Nice. Basically, here we do all of the web um, stickers from website because we also sell stickers online. Oh, okay. And yeah. this kind of production room where all uh, preparation after you print it, you just cut in here everything? Or you? Yes, exactly. So basically, online order is uh, coming there to Helen. Helen just uh, getting a file from Ina, which is sitting here. Mm. And then cutting on this pulter, or if it, there is something bigger on the other pulter in the other room. Peeling here, transport paper, that's it, ready to go. Okay. And now let's walk to the yeah. main showroom. Let's walk, let's walk to my kingdom. kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so basically that's it. We have uh, our toy here, which is going to be in uh, black PPF, uh -huh. which we started uh -huh. already. Started, yeah. we'll the there we have a lunch room, uh, sorry, lunch uh, table. So every day, 12 o'clock, everybody's sitting there. And now at the moment it's like open space. And how do you feel working in open space? Because you do NPPF and uh, race cars and uh, Coaching traps as well. Everything yes. is done in this place. It's like work area at the moment. Exactly. Okay. You know, it's, it's quite nice. We have a huge table, which helps a lot because, you know. This I doesn't understand. Let's maybe walk. Through. Yeah, let's There's walk. like second uh, production table just for. Yeah, basically, that's the table with uh, all of the main films which we need for PPF and stuff. Uh -huh. With, you know, with a roller. So I can unroll everything quite easy and cut it. Yeah. And you know, if we are doing a design, all of the stickers just lay here, ready for me, you know, nice setup. I can just go with okay. the car. How do you find out this, this tool? Do you like it? Because I, I want to buy something like this and it's, it's, it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's quite nice because you can just uh, measure the, the meters of film. Mm -hmm. So if you're on this side, you just unroll it, have a look on the, on the meter. That's and then it. You need to have a measuring tape and measure like half, yeah, one yeah. and a half meter, half a meter. Just roll it, cut it. Exactly. And as I noticed, you have similar setup on this rack as well. Yes, these racks are the most common film for the race cars. Mm -hmm. So basically, you now it's daily used film. So it's on the rack, so just, you know, to quick pick it up. And we also have a disc cutter, which also helps. You know, you don't need to move the roll from, mm -hmm. from here to, the, to this roller. Okay. You it's just, you can just, you know, cut it on the rug. Mm -hmm. uh, you just need to measure. This one doesn't show how many. Yeah, this one doesn't okay. show. Okay, you just roll. Yeah, need... or for sometimes for dechroming, like we have a film, oh, black yeah, film on yeah. the bottom. You just cut a ni nice stripe. Okay, nice. Then there we have a video corner, let's say. I really love this Blackfish logo. It's huge. <laughs> it looks very professional. I know it's just, I love it. It's black on black. 
yeah, like a black beach. Everything yeah. needs to be black. Yeah. <laughs> That's our, you know. Some trees, some customer cars. Uh, have you wrapped it or not yet? No, not yet, not yet. But it's gonna be wrapped in PPF. Oh, PPF. Yeah. Okay. Speak of this is a race car, yeah? Uh, it's not really a race car, but it's a car for tourist farting. It's like a tourist drive, you know. Oh, so, okay. so I think it's really well prepared. Mm -hmm. And I love this car. It's just amazing. Yeah, nice. This boy is very difficult to do in one piece. Yeah. yeah, yeah. A few weeks ago. <laughs> it was a nightmare to do. Yeah, yeah. You have a connections here, right? We did in one piece of connection. I... 1.8 meters of film. It was challenging, very challenging. Nice. But we did it. Customer is happy, but yeah, it was hard, very hard. Nice. <laughs> if it works, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is full wrap, yeah? It's kind of race yeah, car. that's typically race car. So full roll cage, full, uh, full color change, and then the design yeah. from customer on top. Mm -hmm. nice. Number of plates on the race. One small thing, if you want to know on the race car from yeah. Porsche, uh, Porsche on each side have different color of the wheel cap. Yes. So here we have a blue one. Mm -hmm. On the other side is red, red pink. Okay. What's the reason? Oh, just to don't miss the the nut. That's the really old tradition from Porsche. Just know on which side it goes because yeah. blue is always going to be on this side. And yeah, yeah. Side. blue is all, always on the right. Okay. Pink is always oh. on the left. Not all the people know about it. One day when I will own this car like this, <laughs> I, I will know. Yes. If I will ask for green, uh, green rims, like, no, no. Green yeah, green then, we can, then we need to do a lap together. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's my kingdom. <laughs> Thank you for your talk. Thank you. And now let's do some activities. I have a few questions for you. First one, what's your favorite paint protection brand? My favorite, my favorite is Xpel, yeah. but I'm open-minded, so mm -hmm. we are using also Hexis and uh, Premium Shield. Also, mm -hmm. I heard is good. Okay. But yeah, I, I'm really into Xpel. Okay. But I'm open-minded, so it's okay. use a few brands and Xpel is your priority. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Exactly. Second question: What is your favorite color change brand material? A brand? I think we really stick to Avery Denison. Because mm -hmm. for the race cars and stuff, it's it's mm -hmm. super, you know, flexible mm -hmm. and it just goes super quick. Yeah. What, why. what do you use for printing media? Evidence oh, as well? we uh, we use we use actually a lot of brands for printing material, but okay. um, Avery, Arlon, a lot of Arlon, mm -hmm. um, Oracle. Okay. Okay. Yeah, depends on what car mm -hmm. and what project and yeah. Okay, just like flexible. We just use a few, yeah. few brands. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. Okay, one more question. We will start with David. Uh, your three the most favorite tools My or favorite equipment tools. in the shop. Yeah. Last time actually we found out the um, Blackfish uh, felt for squeegee. That's really cool. Oh, yeah. Then hmm, keg like sprayer for the oh, okay, it's a spray okay. That's yeah. definitely like must have. Mm -hmm. And then from yellow tools you have a tool for mirrors. That's uh, that uh, U shape. U yeah, easy. Uh, I don't yeah, know exactly yeah. the name, but it's okay, it's probably. super useful and yeah. it helps a lot. Yeah. Okay. I have seen many videos about this tool, but I never tried one myself. This looks like interesting. Then we can try it together. Yeah. Okay. That's it. We'll try it. <laughs> <laughs> and what is your three tools? Tools. Equipment. Oh, <clears throat> I love my uh, my heat gun, the the, the Steinol, the protection uh, clip on. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's really handy and really good, and you never uh, touch something, and it's mm -hmm. really nice. And T blade, I have the the cartridge blade with the five blades in in in, um, in the knife. I really like that. That, that yellow one. And yeah, yeah, uh -huh. the yellow one. Uh -huh. Yeah. And um, yeah, also I think the the we have our own brand of filth. I like the black mm -hmm. blackfish field for under uh, squeegees. Nice. And um, yeah, yeah, I like to use that also. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that yeah, I think that's the three most popular. Okay. Last question. Uh, can you tell your top three wrap shops for the entire world? Or yeah. it's really, really difficult because I don't uh -huh. don't follow <clears throat> that much about other wrap shops. I'm um, I'm not so I, d I really don't have like favorite shops or mm -hmm. I have respect for a couple of shops, but um, I mostly, most of the time, I really like like um, uh, skate shops because I'm 
from from um, uh, from the history. I do a lot with skate shops, and I like like that's where I get my um, uh, my influence from from like uh, skate shops or cool um, uh, graffiti or sneaker shops or cool like vintage niche shops. That's uh, that's cool stuff. So not in the rap shops. I don't I don't have okay. an answer for that actually. Okay. Yeah. Do you have something? Three rap shops, favorite Three. or which you at least know? <laughs> at least know, yeah. I know a few. I don't follow a lot, mm -hmm. but yeah, I I think I can say Zebra, which I was working for. I have a sentiment mm -hmm. for these guys. Then Cutred Car Hero, mm -hmm. and one which is known a bit is uh, Premium Wraps and Custom from England. Okay. Now is a question time, and here's the question. Hi, this is Daniel from Czechmat uh, in Germany. And my question is, what is the most expensive mistake your insurance had to cover? <laughs> so, let's give me an answer. What will be your answer? Um, yeah, very short story. We were in a new building here for one week. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had a um, uh, we had a new M2 from BMW Belgium that we needed to do a livery for uh, uh, for a race car that the BMW presented needed to present, and um, uh, because it was all new, this building and everything was new for me. Um, there are like here a lot of pillars, mm -hmm. metal pillars, mm -hmm. and um, I was um, in a hurry trying to reverse. The car into another place, and but I reversed it into a pillar, and um, it was freshly wrapped, freshly done. It was all um, finished. I just needed to put it like um, a few meters um, further, and yeah, I hit the pillar. Wow. Yeah, that was a once in a lifetime, and that was actually one of the only accidents um, I ever had. And it's not even from rapping, it's just, yeah, from just for <laughs> reversing the car, yeah, it was, uh, that was pretty dumb, yeah. You, you need to do some more practice of driving inside the shop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, luckily it was not a private customer, <laughs> so, um, yeah. yeah, but that was not so nice. Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. And you, David, do you have any stories? Whoa, well, not from here. Okay. Luckily. Luckily. <laughs> but, yeah, so basically we were cleaning our GT3, mm -hmm. preparing it for PPF. And we had some really ACD stuff to you know get rid of the tar mark and, and stuff. And somebody, somebody, now you don't know who, just put the towel on the wing in GT3, and it just ate through the cool. fiber, fiber, carbon fiber. Wow! It ends up quite badly. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I didn't pay for it. What what cleaner it was? Evidence well, office cleaner? No, no, no. That was <laughs> something from Coach Hemi. Okay. Yeah, but I don't remember that. I know similar situation for one guy happened when he was in that shop. He left rag, that cloth on the yeah. spoiler and damaged the clinical. Yeah, that's painful. Yes. Okay, thank so you. So not too bad. <laughs> no, not too bad, no. I can tell you worse stories than that. Yes, I believe so. I will. <laughs> And now is the time for mini quiz. You'll need to choose one answer, and if you want, you can explain why you chose that answer. Okay? First one, knife or knifeless tape? Knifeless tape. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Knife -less. Okay. Uh, heat gun or torch? Heat gun. Ah, torch. <laughs> torch? <laughs> okay. Uh, gloss or matte finish? Gloss. Matte. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Porsche or Ferrari? Porsche, definitely Porsche. Easy Porsche. Porsche. Okay. Thank you for your answers. Thank you, Michael and David, for having me, for inviting me. It was a pleasure to meet you. It was a really cool experience. Thank you for the track experience. It was something I have never done in my life. And like, oh, I was shaking for like two hours. <laughs> and I hope it's uh, it's not our last time seeing each other. Yeah. I uh, the same. I hope you come by more often and yeah, thank you for your visit. Yeah, yes, welcome. thanks a lot. Uh, hope you enjoyed your time and mm. yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh.